Around a month ago, I actually decided to start helping out Mikey again a little bit. And this is the guy you see here on the screen. He has another YouTube channel in the dropshipping field. And he was basically making videos for the last, like almost one full year without seeing success. And I watched a few of his videos and I saw how he's really dedicated to everything he's doing. And I really saw he's pushing it. And even though he fails, he still keeps going. And I thought to myself, you know what? This is a pretty good opportunity to showcase that this is actually doable if you have a right strategy and he can, you can change a lot with the proper strategy here. Um, as long as you have a person who's actually committed. And here we have the video where he talks about the experience, how everything went from the point where we actually started to, to work together a little bit. Um, and yeah, let's react to the video. I have been trying to make money with dropshipping for over 10 months now. I've lost thousands of dollars and failed way too many times. But this time, I finally made some profits. And this is exactly how I did it. So in my last video, I had a Zoom call with a dropshipping mentor called Michael Bernstein. He saw some of my videos and he wanted to help out. And in the call, he basically told me to stop going from strategy to strategy and double down on one strategy, which was TikTok organic. TikTok organic. So here we need to say that TikTok organic is not the thing I would recommend to everybody from the get-go. Okay. I specifically decided to recommend it to Mikey because he is doing really well his, with his YouTube stuff and he already has the fundamentals in place. So he knows how to record a good video. He knows he understands how to get viewers attentions, etc. However, we definitely need to say that my main strategy is Facebook. But the problem I saw with him and it was so annoying to watch was basically every single video he did on YouTube was this Snapchat strategy, a Facebook strategy, a TikTok organic strategy, a TikTok normal ads, it was all a mess and he was trying so many things. And you need to understand that a really good strategy cannot work sometimes from the first try. Even though if you do everything perfect and you test a product the right way, nobody can guarantee that the first product you're gonna test is gonna be a success. This means that an amazing strategy can just fall out of place by you switching to the next one. And you tested a strategy, First product doesn't work and you instantly move on to the next strategy instead of sticking to one strategy and making sure you keep doing that strategy only until it actually works. Okay. This is the only way how you're going to succeed. You're not going to succeed by jumping around 25 different strategies. And the same thing actually happened to me for the first 10, 11 months. My main problem was I was watching so many YouTube videos, bought a bunch of video courses. I tried to make my strategy out of everything I saw on YouTube, on the video courses. And I tried to make my own thing out of everything I saw. When in reality, I didn't know what's good. I didn't know what's bad. I didn't even know which strategies are mixing well together. And in some cases, now I know that if you have two amazing strategies and you try to mix them, both of them are going to be terrible. So the main advice from the get go I gave here was follow one thing. And I felt like his head start is just being able to make good videos. And as long as you have that head start, why would you not start with that? So here we go. Organic is basically where you make a TikTok account and you try to go viral with your product. So you don't have to spend any money on ads. But before making the account, I needed to find a product. So Michael told me to go and look for 30 products so he could pick the best ones out of them. 30 products. Like In my head, I was like, oh my God, what did I sign up for? But this is nothing, by the way, like 30 products is nothing. We have, we have people who like, I'm very intolerant with letting my students test something. And if I see that somebody's presenting me a sheet with 30 products, in a lot of the cases, I'm going to tell them all of them are terrible. We need to do another 30 and another 30 until you have a really good product. Because my opinion is always don't test anything, which is not ideal. Why? Because you can make your life harder and you can make your life easier. If you actively choose to make your life harder by just selecting a decent product, which you're going to need amazing marketing for, that's a bad choice. If you select a perfect product, which you don't need the most amazing marketing for, that's a good choice. So in the beginning, it's going to feel like you're wasting time on so much product research, but in reality, you're saving time by not having to test 2,500 amazing marketing angles to make it work because you just showing the product in the camera is enough to make the product actually work. But if this is what it takes, 
I was willing to do it. So I went on TikTok and searched for stuff that dropshippers use, like my wife's boyfriend, TikTok made me buy it, and all those things. And I also searched on AliExpress and CJ Dropshipping and Mynia. And, and in a week, I had the 30 products ready and I sent them to Michael. He looked through them and he picked this door sensor thing that sends you a message on your phone when someone opens your door. And also these ice cubes that light up when you put them in water. So I immediately ordered them from Amazon. So here I was thinking I was going to get a break for a few days because the products hadn't arrived yet. But yeah, nah, Michael doesn't joke around. He told me to make another list of 30 to 50 video ideas while we waited for the products to arrive. <laughs> so yeah, in about two days, I had 50 video ideas ready and I sent them to Michael. He looked through them with a guy called Jacob. He's one of Michael's students and he's done over 45 million organic views on TikTok. So he definitely knows his stuff. So yeah, they Jacob is a beast, by the way. Um, for me, he, Jacob was the guy who actually proved to me that TikTok organic is a real thing. At this point, I'm a very skeptical person. If I don't see something with my own eyes, I don't really trust it. And I've heard a bunch of people talk about organic and I was like, sure, but I'm gonna stick to my Facebook Facebook magic here. I'm gonna, I like that way more. And then basically Jacob came in the program. He also started to do the Facebook strategy. However, on the side, he was doing some things with TikTok organic and all of a sudden it blew up like crazy and it started to do legit numbers. And he kept doing the Facebook thing and he told me about it and I was like, wait, you made like $900 in profit in one single day with organic? Stop, stop whatever you're doing with Facebook and here right now, again, you have a head start. You have the ability to make amazing content, which means that you should stop instantly with everything else. I'm not this guy who's going to tell you, all right, I know Facebook, that's why you need to do Facebook. No, no, no. I'm flexible with that and I don't have a problem with you going another round as long as I see proof of concept, okay? If you tell me I want to do TikTok organic because I like doing videos, that doesn't mean anything for me yet and I just first need to have to see either amazing videos you already did or you going viral on TikTok organic. Other than that, I'm going to stick to my strategy on Facebook which is doing amazing. Okay, and everybody's talking about this thing where Facebook is like dead and Facebook should not be working like and dropshippers should only focus on TikTok. Yes, if you don't have one specific strategy inside of Facebook, which again, everybody who's watching this right now is who's in the program, they know about it. However, I cannot share it on, on, on YouTube because it's such a niche strategy that if like 5,000 people would see it, it would probably get saturated. I looked through them, tweaked them, and gave me the best ones out of all of them. So when I got the products, I made four videos with the sensor. And let me tell you, I tried really hard to make those videos. I legit set up cinematic lighting and props and tried to make everything look really nice. But then when I sent them the videos, they were like, nah, this is, this is trash. And yeah, they're terrible. Honestly, looking back now, they were really bad. And I honestly thought they were good. So he picked one of them and told me to make 20 versions of that one just so I could get better. And yeah, in about two days, I had made 20 TikToks. I sent them the videos and again, they weren't good enough. And after about a week of back and forths and constant tweaking and everything, I finally made about 10 videos that they were okay with. So now it was finally time to make the TikTok accounts. Michael recommended that I get, get someone in the US to make an account for me because apparently US TikTok accounts are favored over other accounts. But I couldn't do that, so I had to find a way to make a US account from here and I searched on YouTube and I found this video he basically said all you need to do is order a US travel sim from Amazon and put it in your phone no VPN no need to activate the sim nothing just put it in your phone so I did that and it actually worked I was seeing US trends and everything so I solved that issue I also made one more account because the last time I tried TikTok organic one account always performed better than the other even with the same content I made it with a UK sim though so yeah for the next few days I posted a few TikToks and they did not do too bad. The goal was to get 1,000 followers so I could put the website link on my profile and I got almost 300 followers in two days. I also made a YouTube Shorts and an Instagram Reels account and I reposted all my TikToks on there. And after about five days of posting, I didn't go viral, I didn't hit 1,000 followers and honestly it was starting to get to my head a little bit because like why isn't it working? I was trying so many different things but nothing was working. So I thought maybe my... And this is a point where most people just stop doing everything. <laughs> like something doesn't work and they're like, yeah, dropshipping is dead. Or they're like, yeah, I should not do TikTok organic. That's a bad strategy. I should rather focus on Facebook. And it's very easy to do that because now the only thing you see is you have the proof that your strategy doesn't work. However, it doesn't mean anything. 
Because the thing it means is that the first test you did it within the strategy doesn't work, which doesn't mean that the strategy entirely doesn't work. And uh, a lot of people confuse that. My camera quality was the problem, or maybe because I was using a SIM card without a VPN, TikTok shadow banned me. So many things were going through my head. And you notice how I was blaming everything else but myself. So to fix the quality issue, I decided to buy an iPhone. I don't have iPhone money. I had to ask. So now at this point I was in debt, but I'm not going to lie. I did not regret getting it. The quality is just, wow. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. And to fix the shadow ban that I thought I had, I decided to join this guy called Jimmy Farley's Discord. Cause I've heard a lot of good things about him. And apparently in the page section of the Discord, he has this VPN and SIM card method that had been working for a lot of people. Obviously I can't share it here cause it's not mine. Anyways, I paid to join the Discord and now I had a better quality camera and I had a VPN sorted. I had everything I needed to go viral. Yeah, nah. <laughs> It didn't happen. Even in the Discord, they tell you that if you can't get views, it's almost always the content. And as long as you're not getting zero views or you haven't broken the community guidelines, you are not shadow banned. And if you've tried TikTok organic, you would know that it's a hard pill to swallow that your content is actually bad and you need to improve. Sometimes people do get lucky and go viral with bad content, but we're not trying to be lucky here. So over the next few days, I kept making new videos and researching on how to go viral until I found a product I went viral with. The way I found it was really random like someone on the discord shared a sound that they went viral with and i went to that sound and i was scrolling through the videos on that sound and then i found this video now before i show you guys this video i want you to know that i know it's unethical i am aware okay okay it's a pen for cheating in your exams <laughs> Relax, relax. The only reason I chose this product was because I knew it would be easy to go viral with it. You don't need to be a genius at finding products to know that this is a controversial product and controversy works on TikTok. Honestly, I really needed this. I needed to go viral myself to fully believe that it was possible. So I asked Michael about it and he liked it. So we were I did like it, but now looking back on it, I don't like it as much anymore. However, let's keep watching. I'm going to elaborate that in a second. We're good to go on that. So I made three TikTok accounts and I started making videos. And for the first few TikToks, I just recreated videos that had already gone viral, but still nothing was working. I'm not going to lie. I was honestly doubting that I could make this work. Even with such a controversial product, I can't go viral. Like, it was really depressing, but I just kept uploading. But a few days later, I had another Zoom call with Michael and Jacob. And Jacob said something that changed my whole perspective. Take your YouTube Bro, skills and bring them over to TikTok. Your, your videos like <laughs> I'm literally laughing while I'm watching it. I'm so entertained. It's constantly switching clips. It was so good. Now convert that to TikTok and make some money. When he said that, that's when something clicked. Oh. The only reason why I decided to tell Mikey about TikTok Organic is exactly what Jacob just said. And unfortunately, I did not communicate that too clearly because I told him, look, you have a gift, you're doing amazing YouTube videos. However, you just need to do the exact same thing for TikTok. And he was like, yeah, sure, let me do TikTok. But he didn't connect how his YouTube skills were the reason why I told him to do again. And sometimes it takes somebody to literally shit on you and scream in your face that this is exactly what you need to do and this is the reason and this is what Jacob did, which turned out amazing. All I had to do is paste the TikToks the same way I make these YouTube videos. You guys get it, right? You're watching the video right now. You you realize like every few seconds there's like a cut or a zoom or something pops up on the screen or something. Like it's all intentional to try and make the video as entertaining as possible and try to flatten out the retention curve. That's a crazy retention curve. So I started making videos like that and immediately I noticed a bit of a difference. I went from getting like a thousand to two thousand views to about five to ten thousand views. And I was slowly getting better and better at making videos until I made this one video. I literally recreated this guy's video but then while I was editing I got the idea to like rip the paper but I used actual paper not the not the paper on the pen I thought people would notice but no one noticed tell me it's not funny it's hilarious I legit went to bed after posting this TikTok like if this doesn't go viral like I have no idea what will and guess what happened the next day the next day I woke up to three sales and 400,000 views and I had just reached a thousand followers and I didn't waste any time 
Yeah, so this is when things started to change. And obviously on the 400K views, um, he got three sales only, but he also didn't have a link because that was overnight. So he couldn't put in the, the link yet. We only put in the, the link in the bio after having the views. Put in my link in the profile. The whole day I was buzzing. Fine, finally, finally something has worked. And it only took 10 months. Okay. That day ended with the video having about 1 million views and 10 sales with about $60 in profit. Even though it was just $60, I didn't really care because it didn't matter because all I needed was that proof that I could go viral. Because I know that for 1 million views, people usually get from like 5 to 10. And by the way, this is something I've experienced as well. I, I remember how I made my first sales back in the day and it changed everything for me because when I saw I made $50 in one single day, it's a complete game changer. After making your first profits with this, something changes because then you understand it's actually doable to make profits from this online voodoo stuff, which actually does work. And everybody outside of this community here is thinking it doesn't work. However, now I also know it does work. And it's a complete game changer because now it's harder to quit. Every single milestone you hit in terms of uh, results, it's gonna be harder and harder for you to quit. Because the first time you see sales, you're always gonna be thinking back to like, ah, it's possible, I just don't know how to figure it out. I didn't figure it out properly, but it's possible. The next time would you, you see, for example, like a really, really good month and you made like 10K profit per month, you're like, okay. Now you understand 100% you can actually make real legit numbers with this. However, now you only have to make it consistent. And it's always those things where something changes in your mind. And I've seen this with me. I've seen this with tons of my students. Something just changes. It's so much harder to quit after you actually have the proof in front of your eyes that it, this is doable thousand plus dollars in sales so this wasn't like normal michael realized that it was mostly kids that would want this product and their parents wouldn't want to buy this for them i want to kill my pain in my heart just think about it for a second it's a cheater pen it's only for people who are in school so everybody who's in school most of them don't have a credit card that means that they all have to ask their parents if they all have to ask their parents they're not going to be able to because it's a cheater pen so they cannot tell their parents, meaning that they cannot buy. And I realized that in the call with, with Mikey and Jacob, and I was like, ah, this is why the conversion rate is so low. And it's such a random thing, which I never thought of before, but it totally makes sense. So that's the reason why the conversion rate is, is so low for him. And um, basically, what's an average for, for TikTok organic conversion rates? It's pretty low. It's like 0.8%. So super, super low conversion rates. However, that's not applicable for such a cheap item because he was selling the product for like $13, something like that, um, meaning that the conversion rate definitely needs to go up. And you cannot just throw at a random conversion rate, for example, 0.8. This is the industry standard without considering the price because the conversion rate of 0.8, if you sell a product for $1,000, obviously would be amazing versus if you sell the product for $10. So it's obviously also in price classes and um, yeah, for, for such a cheap item, it was really low. All I needed was a better product. Also, I couldn't find the product anywhere on AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, nowhere. Luckily, Michael hooked me up with a private supplier. And I know that video didn't blow up by luck. By the way, do you see how many videos he did here to actually make this work? One super important thing I want to mention here is if you're gonna be part of my program, if you're gonna be my student, I will not film a single video for you. I will not find a single product for you. I will not do anything for you in terms of actually going out there and search, doing product research for you and telling you, hey, this is an amazing product, sell this. I'm not going to do that. What I will do is I'm gonna tell you how to find good products and also what a good product is, so the criteria, and you're gonna make a list exactly like Mikey, and I'm personally gonna look over that list, tell you this product is good, this is bad, this is good, why is it bad, why is it good, and then we're gonna narrow things down to the other top one. And the same thing goes for the videos as well, okay? He presented me well over 50 video ideas, and from those, we picked which ones are good, which ones are bad, okay? It's not gonna be me doing the work for you, it's going to be me telling you what to do and you need to do it. 
back because literally a few days later i recreated the exact same video and it blew up getting 800k views and six sales in one day a few days after that i recreated it again this time it blew up like crazy 27 sales in one day i've never seen this before even when i run paid ads i never got this amount of sales it was ridiculous it made me realize how crazy the times we are living in are all you have to do is make a funny video with your product and you can make money it definitely wasn't this easy a few years ago though it it's funny that, he's, that he says that because normally people say the exact opposite like three years ago uh, dropshipping was working so easy now with dropshipping is dead now dropshipping is so hard it's so hard to get into as a beginner it's all excuses in the end of the day it's, right now is always the easiest time it's always going to get harder now, sure, there might be some changes which are going to make life easier, or there might be some changes where, which are going to make things way, way harder, okay? We saw with the iOS update on Facebook, it changed a lot of things significantly. We saw in 2020 when all the suppliers in China got shut down where everybody had to pause. It was all those things which can go wrong, and, they, and there's a bunch of other things which can also propel things to the best. However, we just need to start as soon as possible always, and that should be always the attitude. It seemed like there was a limit to the amount of times I could recreate the same video because I tried it about three more times and the views just weren't viewsing anymore. But it didn't matter. I got what I needed from this product. All I have to do now is find a better, more ethical product. And before I show you how much I made in total, I know some of you might want to work with Michael. So if you go to my description, there's a link to a playlist that has videos with Michael and his students. So you can watch them and decide for yourself whether you want to sign up for it. So this playlist is just specifically created for everybody who has excuses not to start dropshipping. And it's also created for everybody who's already started and nothing works and they're like, yeah, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe, maybe it's so hard to get started. That's not the case. If you have a really good strategy and if you're actually dedicated to putting in volume into that strategy, it will work. All right. And this playlist is specifically dedicated for exactly that. It's literally hours and hours of content where I'm talking to my students about their experience of how they actually progressed, how much they made. We have like really crazy ones where people made like $4 million instead of two years. We, we have other videos where a guy who has no clue what he's doing by just following the strategy properly without thinking and implementing all these own things, he makes like 60 K a month. This whole thing actually does work. Now the question is just, is it going to work for you or not? Because I'm not going to tell sit here and lie to you and tell you every single student of mine actually succeeded because that is not the case. The whole thing is a 50, 50, 50% 50 of everything is done by me. And I need to tell you what to do. The other 50% is you doing it. I can only guarantee for my part. I can only guarantee for my 50%. As long as you don't keep up with yours, I guarantee it's not going to work. Okay. However, if you actually do, and if you do things properly, this can become really crazy. And by watching this entire playlist, you're going to understand that it's actually possible to replace your current job with dropshipping. And this is something which most people think is going to happen in a month or in one and a half months or in two weeks, but that's not the case. Okay. I would not recommend you to quit your job after making your first 10 K profit. I also don't recommend you to quit your job just because you now work with me. That's not how it works. Okay. We want to do things rationally. And just because I know how many people do not take this serious, I first want you to see success, actually make this work and then stop working and do this full time and then excel even more because obviously you're going to be able to put in so much more time into it if you actually focus on this full time. So yeah, in total, this is how many views I got for the door sensor. And I only managed to get about three sales. The first sale came after a month of posting videos. And this is how many views I got for the 14 million views. Cheetah pen with almost 90 orders and over $1,000 in sales. Super, super, super low sales amount. Extremely low. Like average order value, $12 or 12, 12, 12 pounds, which is extremely low. Conversion rate 0 0.559, which is lower than industry average. And also it's lower, like way, way lower for a $12 item. And from my perspective, it's just all due to exactly the reason I named before, which is kids cannot tell about this product to their parents because they're scared and they don't have a credit card. So unfortunately that nobody saw, thought of this, but now I know this and now it's one of the criteria, which, which we definitely will always implement for, for the rest of my life, basically, which is basically you cannot sell a product, which you cannot show to your parents if it's for kids. That's a really important criteria. And it's like most of the products will not 
put in, will, will fall into that category anyways. However, in this case, we needed to think of that ahead. This is how much I made in profits. So first of all, congrats, Mikey. Um, you definitely deserved it. Is $400 crazy? No. Am I like super surprised by this? No, not at all. I was expecting way more because I just saw how he's dedicated to everything he does. And this is exactly what's going to happen to people who actually put in the time and hours after things do not work. This is the most important thing you get from, from his entire channel. He still uploads the videos. He still is doing dropshipping, even though there were a lot of opportunities where he could have said, actually dropshipping is dead, let me try this other business model. Actually dropshipping is dead, let me just go back to doing only other things, okay? And genuinely, I'm really proud of Mikey. And also, we definitely have to say a special thank you to two people. Number one, Jacob, because, um, because he opened my eyes for TikTok Organic in the first place. And number two, is a comment which I've received from a random guy on my last video and he basically told me that I should help Mikey. So the very first video I did about Mikey was um, me reacting to one of his videos where he mentioned me because he just started to watch my YouTube videos and basically I was saying how terrible everything he's doing is and um, yeah, one guy actually com commented this. Basically, he commented, this connection is what we needed. You being the mentor and committed Mikey being the student who also documents the journey. If you could help him succeed somewhat, then I would definitely invest into your mentorship. And it had a bunch of likes. And I thought to myself, that's actually a great idea. And here, the thing is, is that this is not such a crazy, outlandish idea which nobody ever thought of. But the reason why nobody took this opportunity to help a person who already has a big audience, and the whole thing is very obvious. If I help Mikey to succeed with dropshipping, it's, it's probably the best case study you can generally have. It's the best testimonial. He was posting for the last year. It cannot really be fake. It's, it's perfect, okay? And he also has like a big audience. It's, it's, it's the greatest thing ever. However, not a single dropshipping YouTuber came up with this. And the reason for that is most of them go into volume in terms of students. If you have 2,000 students and 20 of them succeed, you are not a good teacher. It's just volume which made somebody succeed by luck, and that's that. However, if you have a single person which is already publicly known, you need to have 100% confidence in him succeeding with your strategy. Because if he would not succeed, he would still post this video, and he would still mention me, and he would still say how terrible and how bad everything is. So this is very obvious, and it just exposes tons of other people who would never take this challenge on of helping a guy who's already not successful for the last 10 months. Because if he's not successful for the last 10 months, that means that he's doing something wrong and you need to actually be the reason why he will be successful. It, it just sounds too scary because you can also get super bad publicity through doing that. However, because I just saw that he's actually gonna listen to me and he's gonna do exactly what I tell him in terms of everything, I just saw, all right, I, I don't really have anything to lose because I'm pretty confident that this is actually gonna work. So again, exactly the thing he told you, I'm gonna tell you again. So go to my playlists and watch the student success story. All right, just watch this, binge watch all of this, and you're gonna have no excuse at all anymore. Why not to get started? Why not to do dropshipping properly? And why not to take this serious? So click the link below, I'm gonna link it somewhere. And also, if you're already ready to get started with me personally, you can click the link below, sign up for a free call with me, and we're gonna find out if everything is a good fit. However, I would rather want you to watch all of those videos first, so you can actually make sure that we don't waste both of our times. So click there and talk to you.